Let me uh, ask you about stuff. something that bugs me in a book. Uh, is when a character sits and thinks, and it's usually because we've just had a bunch of action to pull us into the story, and now they've got to deliver some backstories. So the character will sit down, and or they're they're not literally sitting and thinking. Maybe they're doing dishes. They're doing some activity where the main purpose of that is for them to have thoughts about the backstory that we need to know or whatever we need to understand for the scene. What's the best way to give those types of scenes life and a way to to eliminate them? Well, it depends. Oh, like, what do you mean by get them life? Um, if I've got a character that's uh, sitting and thinking um, about backstory or something we need to know, or, yeah, you know, she was looking at her phone, her mother was calling, do I want to talk to my mom? Here's all the bad things that happen between me and my mom that you need to know before I pick up the phone and have this conversation. And maybe that goes on for a half a page or a page. And it drives me nuts because that's all stuff that's happened. I want stuff moving. That's, um, yeah, yeah. Current story. I, I get what you mean. Um, I'm the same way. I'm like, oh, I'm reading like two pages before you pick up that phone because this happened, then this happened. No, it's the same thing. Like, I think you should incorporate like, like your your dialogue and your imagery and your description. I know it's a tall order. I know that it's overwhelming and that's what you need an editor like me to help you like figure things out because for me, I'm just like a person. I have no idea. Like, I don't know anything. But when I read it, like, I can see it. Like, I know what needs to be done or what needs to be cut. It's really hard to sit here and tell you, like, what you should be doing. Because I don't know until I look at those pages in front of me and say oh this this part should be here and move this here and like i'm really all about like big picture development to read like oh cut page 90 let's move 88 to page one or chapter one and people get freaked out and they're like, oh my God, my whole thing, my my whole book is gone. And oh, I, I know I, that feeling. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it does, but it's going to make your book stronger. I don't go into reading thinking like, I'm going to make a really bad book. Like that doesn't happen. And I know that you as a reader have like, maybe you're fearful or whatever but you shouldn't be like you're in really good hands i'm gonna take care of you and yeah i know it's scary to move chapter one to 88 or 80 to one or whatever um but like i'm gonna read with you in mind like, I know your career goals, what the time you've talked. I know what you want to get from point A to point B. And I'm going to help you get to point A to point B. Like, I don't know the correct answer right off the top of my head right now to help you. But, like, her... Unacceptable. I want you to give me the one piece of advice that will make all of my writing yeah, excellent right? forever. <laughs> well, for, like, for her picking up the phone to like, yeah, I think it's annoying too to have two pages of description. So I do want, maybe you don't put those two pages of description. Maybe I've known beforehand some of her problems with her mom before she picks up the phone or doesn't pick up the phone. So before don't info dump don't put like all this information between the phone call and her picking up the phone like don't do that like pepper it throughout your story like don't give me all this info make it happen just like i said don't withhold information till the end because it drives you nuts like take your info and put it throughout the story so we are aware. We already know these problems exist. And so you don't have to have two pages between explaining. 
And she doesn't have to think, maybe it's a paragraph. Well, that's how I feel. <laughs> that makes sense. I want you to come to my next critique group because there's a couple of authors and in, in, in specific I have this advice in mind for. I'm just going to play this. I, 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 I've been saying this for a couple of sessions now. I'm just going to have Amy Tipton tell you what I said and then we'll be in good shape. <laughs>